Greetings to you who are loved by God and called to be saints. Today we're going to look at Psalm 130, verse 3, and it reads, If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? Psalm 30 is considered to be the sixth of the seven penitential psalms. Psalm 6, 32, 38, 51, 102, and Psalm 143 round out the rest of this set. Now, when Martin Luther was asked what are his favorite psalms, four of the seven penitential psalms were listed, including the one we're looking at today, Psalm 130. But why is that? Well, Luther would call these the Pauline Psalms, and that's because of their emphasis on how all humanity has fallen short of the glory of God. Another way to summarize this is that we have all failed at living up to God's standard as summarized in the Ten Commandments. And that's because we have been sinful from the moment of our conception, inclined to sin and rebel against God's will from that moment. This was part of the reason for Luther rejoicing in these psalms. But then, what would be the reason to rejoice in something like this? Well, if this was have been the only reason, I myself would question why Luther would like such, such a psalm. But as stated, this isn't the only reason. The other reason we can be found in the author of this psalm, as he states in verses 4 and 5, he would say this, but with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. Well, these verses give us the other reason for Luther loving this psalm. And in fact, the purpose for devoting himself to all seven of the penitential psalms, as they simply set forth the realities of human sin, God's grace, and redemption that can only be found in Jesus Christ. So therefore, you who have been baptized into Christ Jesus can now wait on the Lord, because you have been assured the, the forgiveness of your sins and can now be sustained by his promises, promises that can only be found in his word. And the word made flesh who would suffer, die, and rise from the tomb. And just as he rose from the dead, you too will rise. So rejoice. Rejoice in that promise on the day of resurrection. You too will stand with the Lord. Standing in his righteousness and salvation in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O Lord, in our pride and rebellion, we could never stand in your presence. So make us stand in your righteousness and eternal salvation. In Jesus' name, amen.